Third world. Ah. Well, this one's another one that's been bothering me a bit. Well, I keep finding more scale back in amongst the canes. It doesn't have an ID. No label. I believe it's a delicatum. Dendrobium delicatum. Can't be sure. Anyway, I'm not that happy with the pot either. I've got some nice, nice new growth coming along. So I'm going to see if I can... Get it out without uh, without too much damage. Come on! Gotta be careful where I grab. Oh dear! Come on! Oh. Rather break an old ah, I'd rather break an old one. What is this? Great chunk of rock. A lot of good growth on it. A lot of good roots. But um we're gonna grab safely. Oh <laughs> dear. Hunks of rock. If I was going to use rock, I'd try and get something about all oh, fingernail, thumbnail size, rather than these big chunks. Mix in a little bit of uh, charcoal, which there is. Oh, plastic! Oh, I love plastic. There's a lot of pine bark, but you see, most of it is very fine. It's breaking down. It doesn't have a uh, great deal of life left in it. Oh ho! Styrofoam! I love it! Yeah, right. But a lot of people used to use that to bulk out their, uh, their potting mix because uh, not only does it bulk out the mix, but uh, it keeps the mix fairly light. And when you're looking at big orchids, the weight can be a serious concern. But I don't like styrofoam. I don't like plastics much. Yeah, plastic handles and stuff like that. But I definitely don't like it in the garden. Okay. That's not bad. That's not too bad. It's really a little better than uh, than garden soil. With a bit of pine bark and stuff in there, and that's about it. Check these out. Aren't they lovely? Aren't they lovely? Oh! Okay. Try not to put my hand where it's, something's going to break. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try the upside down technique again. So I can get the potting mix into the middle of it. Which is really one of the biggest problems with, uh, with large orchids. In that... Um, It just becomes so unwieldy, heavy, awkward, cumbersome, whatever. All of those terms fit quite well, because yes, it does become difficult. Okay. I can always lift it up a little bit higher. And by 
bring my mix down around the sides. Wow, there's one way down there. Okay. I'll lift and wiggle as I get more mix in there. I think I'm going to be much happier with this new pot. I could have left it for another year because it wasn't too too overgrown, it wasn't too crowded, but when you squeeze the pot you can just feel it's getting tight. And they don't mind being a little bit tight. So uh, a lot of people will, will leave them until they're virtually breaking out of the pot, which is okay. Ha! Ah, more styrofoam! Hey, what a bonus! <laughs> yeah, well... Yeah. <laughs> Like the John Prine song, I've got rocks in my pockets and dirt in my shoes. Yeah. Yep. Aha! A little seedling from a black, black wattle, some acacia. which I don't want growing, because they get huge. 20 meters? Easy. I don't have room in this greenhouse for a 20 meter acacia. Whether it's acacia delbata or acacia melanoxalon, nah. They're not going to fit. The Kudamundra wattle, yeah. It would fit, sort of. Acacia uh, Belliana. Beautiful, beautiful yellow flowers when, when spring rolls around and bees love it. I lift it up a little bit on each side. Just a little tiny tug. Plastic drop sheet makes it really handy for cleanup. Even in the greenhouse, cleanup becomes an issue sometimes. I think I'm happy with that. I think so. Nice growth. I don't think touch wood. Take a big one. I don't think I damaged any. I will have to go back and cut out some of these old old canes. I will have to go back and give it a give it a good scrub for uh, silver. Oh, not silver fish. What am I saying? Scale. I was in the library this morning and found some evidence of silver fish. Tests. Yep. Yeah, I think we'll be all right.
They will break. But you can bend them if you take it easy. Get better. Get better. Get crowded over here. I'm not going to do too much right now. The last thing I want to do is damage a new growth. Okay. Wayne's Weird World. Dendrobium, I think, delicatum. Could be a King Yam delicatum cross. I don't know. But it flowers quite nicely and it looks a lot better. See ya.